Pastor Fred Roberts, um, Neville, as, as I said, had gone on, on the Sunday evening. And on the Monday evening, there's a knock on the door. And I'll never forget, I had an open neck shirt on and, and, and a pair of shorts and I was barefoot. And Pastor Fred came and he, he introduced himself and he said, look, he said, we got a little bit of a meeting with some men uh, at, the, at the church this evening. He said, why don't you join me? I said, what are you, mad? You, you, you think I'm going to go with you? you, you, you your marbles are loose, man. And it was Denise who said to me, go. So he says, we don't come barefoot, just put some slops on. So I went on the, on, the, on the Monday evening. Guess what? Tuesday evening, there's Fred Roberts. Wednesday evening, there's Fred Roberts. Thursday evening, there's Fred, Fred Roberts. I said, hey, listen here, I want to ask you a question. He said, what's that? I said, who pays the rent and the lights and the water here? You. You know, I, I, I didn't have a fuse, believe me. I did not have a fuse, boy. <laughs> he, said, he said, forget about all that. Come with me. So, okay. Again, Denise. Go, 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 go. So I go. And it was a whole lot of guys came from the Woodlands Full Gospel Church. Well, Friday evening comes. Yes, Fred. He said, you've got to come with me this evening. I said, listen, man, you know, you're really pushing your luck, honestly. You are really pushing your luck. He said, do you know what happens to your children while they're youth? Do you? I said, no, I don't. He said, well, why didn't you come and find out? Again, Denise, go. So off I go. Go and see Fred. Go to the church. See what my kids are up to. You know, watch all these youngsters. No, that's fine. Saturday came. I said to Denise, I said, if this man comes today, you'll make no mistake. He will get a bunch of fives. There's no duties about it. I've had enough. Enough is enough. At that time, I had something like about a thousand orchids. And I was in the orchid house on the Sunday morning, checking out the orchids. And I hear this voice. You mind if I come in? Pastor Fred Roberts. I said, him, what on earth are you doing here? He said, I come to take you to church. I said, you're mad, man. He said, come, come and see what actually happens. And you know, I want to tell you something. The driving point here was Denise. There's no arguments about it. Denise and Fred, in fact, I, I, I'm just, sometimes I wonder if they went in cahoots with one another, you know. Anyhow, I, I went on, 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 on the Sunday morning and then I went on the Sunday evening. And I was due for surgery and I put it off in this respect that the, the surgeon was Dr. Yami Jenton. And he said to me, he said, if, if you don't have this operation, and uh, you, 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 you got, you're going to be in, in, in dire straits, I, I, I promise you. And as I left his surgery, I heard the same voice, I'm going to heal you. And I walked straight back in, into his, his surgery. And I said, we can cancel it off. He said, what? I said, cancel it. He said, what, what, what? I said, because I heard the voice speak to me. And I said, the voice is going to heal me. That's all. Shut the door and I walked out. So Sunday evening comes and right, we go. Yeah, Denise came with you. Denise came. No, fine. I was sitting, I think if you took a tape measure, you couldn't have got me closer to the center of the church if you tried. I was like slap bang in the center of that church. So, you know, happy clappies, everybody singing and clapping hands and all that sort of thing. And I'm looking at these these guys and I'm thinking to myself, okay, I can put up with the, with the singing, that's all right, I don't mind that. But the clapping of the hands and that, I wasn't too sure about that, you know. But Pastor Fred starts his sermon, you know, the guy's about a third of the way through or whatever it was, and he stops. And he says, there's a man here and this is your problem and you're going for surgery and you need to come and come and see me now I pray for you and the Lord's going to heal you I sat where I was, I didn't move but the strange thing was seven men went to the front I'll never forget this, seven and he prayed for all seven and when he finished he said it is not the man that God has shown me and he starts preaching, carries on with his sermon stopped again made the same request I didn't move sat where I was and he carried on carried on and just before the conclusion of his of his sermon he said the man I'm speaking to 
He said, right now God is speaking to you. I know that. He said, I know that. He said, because I'm speaking from the Spirit. I'm not speaking from man. I'm speaking from the Spirit. And this is the word of the Lord to you. If you do not make right with Jesus Christ tonight, you will never again be afforded the same opportunity ever. I never moved. I sat. He made an altar call. Uh, I'm not kidding. I think there was 40 to 50 people. Easy. I went to the front. And I bowed my head, you know. And I just said, I said, You know, God, if you're so powerful, and if Jesus is now really your son, and you raised him from the dead, I mean, that's extreme power. Then you get me to the front. People ran out of the church. I floated. I floated across the people and I floated down the aisle right in front of Fred Roberts. And he said, you're the man. And that's when I made a commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ. I gave my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. So, yeah, that was quite an experience. Just knock it. <laughs>